Hello, my name is Robert and welcome to another video tutorial. In this specific case, I'll be showing you how to use an array formula to determine the first and the last value of a column. Now, here we have a uh, few numbers typed in column A. So, we know that the first value typed in this column is 85, whereas the last one is the number 50. Now, in between, we have obviously some um, empty spaces, and the formula has to uh, ignore these uh, empty spaces. So, to determine the first value in a column, what we're going to be doing here is using the uh, index function. So, we can select that one. Then, we will be selecting the entire column A. The next argument of the index function is going to be the result of the uh, match function. So in this particular case, we want to match the uh, true value. And that true value will be compared against the uh, values in the column A. In this particular case, I'm not going all the way down to the one millionth cell, so I'll just consider as if we are working with um, Excel 2003. So we just consider we have 65,535 rows. In actual fact, we have uh, 65,536, but because it's an array formula, so we must uh, not include the uh, last row, otherwise we will end up with an error in this uh, in this specific formula. So I do it this way because otherwise if you are watching this but you only have Excel 2003 so in this case you can apply that to um, your own problem. So if that is different from um, an empty string then that is going to be an exact match and for our index uh, function we have here the column one so we can close that function and now to finish this formula you have to press the keys control shift and enter all together and then you get your 85 which is the first value in column a now you will see up here that now we have the braces closing this formula uh, the braces tell you that uh, this is uh, an array formula so for the next one, what we're going to be doing, we are also using the index function. And again, we're selecting the entire column A. We're now using the large function, the if function. So we want to compare if A1 all the way down to A65535. Again, just comparing as if you're doing this in Excel 2003. And then the row and again we're just using the uh, A1 all the way down to A65535 so we can close the row function we can close the uh, if function we want the first large, largest value so that's one so we can close the uh, large function and finally for the index function the column is going to be column one so that's the last value in our formula so you can close also the index function and to finish the formula all you have to do is to press control shift enter and you get 50 which is the last value typed in uh, column A so if you by any chance say type something on A2 let's say the number 5 then as you can see the formula changes to 5 to show that this is the first value in column A and let me just uh, split this slightly so that you can see it better if I move down say on cell A20 and I type the value 0 as you can see the last value is shown here in our formula so if you delete that then you should go back to 50 and if you delete 50 then you would get 20 which is the last value typed in column A so as you can see this is a very simple example that's not very difficult but obviously you have to look carefully at, at how the um, functions work together so that you can build a formula that will give the result that you're looking for. So I hope you have enjoyed this example. Until next time, my name is Robert.